What's going on, Jerome's? So your Minnesota defined Vikings are heading into year three of general manager Quasi Dofa Mensa and head coach Kevin O'Connell. And you know, you know, Quasi, you know, his 2022 draft, a yeah, bit, bit of a rough start, but I, I love the moves that they're making this year in free agency, letting guys go, uh, bringing in smart uh, free agents and building towards the future. And also, of course, uh, that trade up to 23. Woo, woo. Love it, man. And Kevin O'Connell, I, I feel like, so, yeah, first year was, was fantastic. 13-4, and four, wanting some more, win the division. It's great. Uh, last year, you know, d- did the best with what he could with the injuries. Now, we were a little bit critical of him because it did seem like the Vikings give it away, give it away, give it away now. Some really tight, close games late in the season that even though they're around their backup quarterbacks, uh, probably should have won. Hmm. But uh, Kevin O'Connell, still got faith. I got faith of the heart. Uh, Tall McVay is going to work things out looking like a young Bud Grant. Woo! That's right, man. Uh, and Kevin O'Connell is rising up. I, I think that the Vikings do have a special coach. Uh, I think that these things do take time. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that Kevin O'Connell uh, is going to round into form and prove that he is one of the best young coaches in the league. And also, we're very lucky to have him. And this offseason, yeah, his BFF, uh, Kurt Cousins uh, pulled the Steve Miller, ooh, take the money and run. Uh, and the Vikings are now looking for, to find their future franchise quarterback up in the draft. Uh, that's why Quasey made them move to 23, and the Vikings are armed with two first-round picks, potentially getting into the stratosphere. Long story longer, uh, Kevin O'Connell spoke with the media jackals uh, at the NFL owners meeting in scenic Orlando, Florida. Gorgeous. You know, just endless miles of oceanfront and golf front beach property in Orlando good times uh so vikings blah 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 blah. uh written by ooh nick shook me all night long nfl around the league there you go so uh blah 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 talk about the trade-up uh 10 days after landing a second first round pick along with a seventh rounder somewhere rick spielman is smiling uh in the upcoming 2024 draft minnesota stands in interesting position they could as many expect package their two first rounders uh 11 and 23 to move up and select a quarterback or as head coach kevin o'connell explained monday at the annual league meeting uh they could use both uh to add blue chip talent from a class that he believes is loaded with it quote uh, i think you view it as extra flexibility in a draft where between our pick at 11 and the way we're looking at the draft at pick 23 we think there's going to be some really good players available uh if we were just uh to stay at those uh, positions and take players maybe a quarterback maybe a couple defensive players o'connell said wisely keeping his target range vague uh, while on the record i think it's going to be a big time offensive draft at the top uh, so when those marquee defensive players start to go it could be in range with that 11 pick uh for us but i think it was it was about flexibility and yeah i mean kevin o'connell is certainly playing the game right now. But as you said at the time, even if the Vikings don't find the the right value to trade up to two, three, four, five, wherever, uh, sticking a pick in 11 23 ain't bad. And uh, O'Connell's right, uh, where there could be a run on offensive talent in the top 10, whether it's quarterbacks, wide receivers, offensive tackle. I mean, theoretically, probably not going to happen, but theoretically, you could say that the first 10 picks will could all be offensive players, and the Vikings could have their pick of any of the defensive interiors, Johnny Newton, Byron Murphy the second, any of the edge rushers, uh, Dallas Turner, uh, Jared Verse, Liatu Latu, or the corners, uh, look at Mitchell, Arnold, Wiggins, etc. So the Vikings could be sitting very pretty uh, at 11. Also, if the Vikings had a notion uh, to potentially move down and recoup some of that draft capital. Uh, The Vikings could see the board as relatively flat. Another team could come up for a defensive player, and the Vikings could move down in the first as well as still hang on to 23 and still get a quarterback like Penix Jr. or or Knicks or Rattler or whoever. So uh, I I think the Vikings do have ultimate flexibility in this spot, and O'Connell is 100% right. He continued, uh, it was intriguing, though, to hear O'Connell admit the trade scenario is very much uh, a possibility, provided they find a party interested in doing business with them. Uh, quote, yes, we want to if we identify a player that we would like to go up and try to add to our football team. First and foremost, uh, there's got to be a willing partner to do that. And I think there's going to be a process that that plays out a conversation here on to the future. O'Connell continued, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out if we're able to do that. But yeah, I think it was ultimately uh, of, ha- of having the flexibility uh, of having two ones uh, in what we think is a really strong draft. And I don't think we're the only ones that view this draft like that. And of course, that's yeah, 
you know, Kevin Kyle Hedgen playing the game was like, oh, you know, we're going here, but if we find the right value, blah, blah, blah. And, and you, you hear everyone dance around, though. like Dan Quinn uh, at, at two with the commies talking about trading down. Gerard Mayo basically just has a sign that says, hey, we're open for business, as well as Amani Asifor, GM of the Cardinals at four, literally said that there's a sign that says they're open for business. And you know, Harbaugh has alluded to uh, potentially uh, moving out of five a lot. Also, he's hyping up his boy, J.J. McCarthy, a ton, man. So, uh, yeah, the Vikings... I actually do think that something gets done uh, at the league um, league meetings because everyone's uh, in the same rooms and, and ballrooms and um, and hotel bars. So I think, oh, maybe they're uh, at Epcot Center. Ooh, it's a small world after all. So may, uh, I do think that something gets done. And O'Connell you know, talked very highly about slinging Sam Darnold, uh, the Vikings free agent uh, quarterback signing. Uh, quote, I think Sam's at the point in his career. I think his best football is ahead of him. Well... <laughs> Wasn't too good behind him because of how he's handled the last couple of years, whether it's going four and two down the stretch in Carolina in 2022, or when you turn on the tape of his work in San Francisco, you can tell Ka, uh, Shanahan, Brian Greasy, these guys did a great job. Oh, Brian Greasy, the greatest quarterback in Michigan football history. He won a national title. What can I say? Uh, these guys uh, did a great job in the next phase of their career fundamentals, techniques, uh, things that you look at. To, for to see growth. I'm excited to get going with Sam because I think we can pick up where he left off last year. Uh, like I've, uh, I've talked about already, love the group of guys that we have around the quarterback position in our offense right now, and I think it's going to be a really positive situation for Sam. Absolutely right. And for all the reasons we talked about, you look at J.J., Addison, Hawkinson when he gets back, Darisa, O'Neal, the running game, uh, and O'Connell and McCown. I mean, it's a great spot. And I I'm glad that uh, O'Connell mentions, like, because – uh, throughout his career, Adam Gase with the Jets, uh, as well as Matt Rule with the Panthers. Like uh, Darnold hasn't had very good coaching. He can't come out and say that, uh, but he kind of said that by omission and by hyping up uh, the Shanna High and the Greasies uh, with the, the 49ers. And yeah, I, I think that one year of really solid coaching, uh, as well as seeing what it takes to be a championship level football team, I think that is going to do great for Sam Darnold. Plus, the whole thing about Darnold is that He's a little bit of a gunslinger. Well, not, not a little. He's a lot of bit of a gunslinger. But sitting behind Brock Purdy for a year, Brock Purdy is the ultimate extension of the quarterback on uh, extension of the head coach on the field. Uh, Johnny Do Right going to paint by numbers and going to fo follow every single rule. Uh, pinky down the seam of your trousers, everything. Take what the defense gives you. Don't force things. Uh, and that's what, something that Darnold does have to take to heart. And uh, lastly, so uh, oh. There we go. Uh, lastly, I uh, talked about Justin Frank and Jefferson uh, extension and also involvement in uh, picking the next quarterback. This is from ESPN. Uh, blah, blah, blah. O'Connell, blah, blah, blah. Jefferson, blah, blah, blah. Quote, needing to know and being a part of a collaborative process, which Justin is, are two different things. Uh, O'Connell said, I... Uh, I felt very strongly about keeping him informed. He's been in the loop. He's been aware. He's allowed to articulate things to me via our relationship. And that's really uh, been through this whole process. And I, I love I, I love that where O'Connell acknowledges that a part of their relationship is having that communication. And Jefferson, you know, being a wide receiver, obviously that uh, the quarterback has a big time impact on his effectiveness uh, moving on forward. Uh, but also you can tell the O'Connell is making it clear that the decision ultimately isn't Jefferson's. Like Jefferson's not the GM of the team. Hell, I mean, the decision's ultimately probably not even Kevin O'Connell's to a degree. But uh, it's a collaborative process, and that, that's what it comes down to. Where it, whether it's Kevin O'Connell and Quasey and Justin Jefferson, uh, and, you know, Josh McCown, uh, everyone's going to have their opinions on uh, what's going to go down. But uh, where does the buck stop? Buck stops with Quasey. Buck stops with Kevin O'Connell, uh, et cetera. Uh, then in terms of the contract, uh, quote, that's how that's how our conversations and our communications go. And I think the quarterback position, the path to where we're going, I think he's excited about getting to spend some time uh, and work with Sam in addition to our other quarterbacks. Uh, and then what this could look like to maybe be a part of helping mentor a young quarterback. I think it's a pretty special time. I know Justin's looking at it as well. And my hope is we get a contract done and taken care of as he continues to be that pillar, that pillar of leadership that I look at him as with within our team. And yeah, the, the whole thing about it too is like, you know, a big part of Sam Darnold's success or rookie TBD success is going to be Justin Frickin Jefferson, right? And uh, I'm glad that 
you know, O'Connell acknowledges that J.J. is in the loop because I think that's important to J.J. I mean, the money is the money is the money, and the money will be there. But him being a leader, him being a part of this organization, him being a, a part of, you know, may, maybe not a part of decision making, but making sure that his voice is respected, his voice is heard. I, I think that's what's really important uh, with Justin Jefferson, and you can tell that they're they're definitely working on that. And you know, with J.J. Uh, I'm sure something will get done this offseason uh, once the Vikings uh, determine who the, who the hell their quarterback of the future is going to be. And like we said, hey, if they can find the right deal to get up in the stratosphere to get uh, May, McCarthy, or Daniels, go do it. Or uh, if you decide to sit, stick and pick at 1123, maybe even a trade down in there somewhere, uh, find a way to get yourself a, a Penix or a Rattler or maybe a Knicks. Sure, I, I, I'm all in on that. But uh, like I said, it's a very, it's a very exciting offseason. But there's a lot of moving parts, and the quarterback position is the one that the Vikings have to get right moving forward. And I have faith that O'Connell and Quasey and well, Justin Jefferson, uh, as well as uh, you know McCown and whatnot, we'll, we'll get this thing right. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Kevin O'Connell, talk to the media jackals about what's going on with the Vikes. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. You guys know what to do. Skull production value. 